Hi there, my name is Costa. Today I want to talk about my project, the OpenRL Benchmark. The OpenRL Benchmark is an interactive, reproducible, and comprehensive benchmark of popular deep reinforcement learning algorithms. It is conducted using CleanRL, a deep reinforcement learning library implemented with PyTorch and Weights and Biases. The OpenRL Benchmark is interactive. That means for each experiment, the benchmark has an interactive dashboard to check out information such as training metrics, videos of the agents playing the game, system metrics, logs, source code, requirement.txt, hyperparameters, and the exact command to reproduce results. Let's take a look at this in action. We first open a benchmark's website, which is benchmark.cleanrl.dev. And the benchmark results can be found at this part of the page. We have benchmarked many game environments, but let's take a look at the Atari results as an example. Here we see the learning curves and the videos of the agents playing the games for algorithms such as PPO, DQN, C51, and so on for the game Qbert. This goes on for other Atari games such as Beam Rider, Space Invaders, and so on. For each curve and video shown in these panels, we can find the corresponding experiments. Let's take a look at the PPO experiment as an example. Here we see the training metrics such as various losses, the learning curve, and the videos of the agents playing the game. This video panel is one of my favorite features because we can visualize the agent's behavior throughout training. For example, during the first episode of the training, the agent clearly fails to play the game. Whereas at the end of the training, the agent could learn to play the game to a reasonable standard. Here, we could also check out the system metrics such as CPU utilization, system memory utilization, network usage, GPU utilization, and so on. Also importantly, this dashboard keeps track of reproducibility information, such as the source code, the requirements.txt, the hyperparameters, the git repository, git state, and the exact command that was used to produce this experiment. With this information, let us try to reproduce this experiment. We start by installing CleanRL. And we're going to use its utility script to auto-generate reproduce commands. Now we go back to the experiment and copy its run path. Now we clear the screen and then use the utility script by doing python-m cleanrl.utils.reproduce-run and here we have generated the reproduce commands. On the right hand side of the terminal, I have a remote connection set up with the Linux server. Let us now copy and paste this command to set up the virtualize end. This may take a while, so I'll skip this part. Now that the installation has finished, let us clear the screen and download the source code. And we can check out the source code, clear the screen, and finally, it is time to reproduce the experiment. Now, let's open the run of this experiment. And here we have the training metrics such as various losses, the learning curve, and the video of the agents playing the game. And this is a new experiment that has been running just for one minute. Before long, this will reproduce that result we had over here. The open arrow benchmark is also comprehensive. As of April 2021, we have benchmarked a variety of games, such as the Progen Environment, Atari Environment, Gridley, Slime Volleyball, Box2D, 
Gym Micro RTS, Car Racing, Mojuko, Pi Bullet, PYSC2. You can check out the corresponding experiments at the results section in the benchmarks page. Last but not least, I want to thank everyone who has provided help and support to myself and the growth of this project. Also, I want to give kudos to our amazing contributors. Our project would not have made this far without these awesome folks. If you like our project, feel free to join our Discord channel, and also check out our deep reinforcement learning library CleanRL that was used to run the benchmark. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.